Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. You're very open about the fact that you, you know, used to escort, or I don't know, maybe if you still do. Um, and I know that there, you know, I've spoken to quite a few performers who have done that or, you know, people who escort exclusively. Um, so tell us a little bit more about what that's like for you. Cause I know there's a lot of public misconceptions around that job. I love it. And I am a big firm believer about the law of attraction and you kind of like get back what you put out. Um, I have, can, there is, I feel that there is a misconception of, um, that you have to keep to yourself and you kind of do you, like, I don't, when I was doing it, just doing that. And obviously I'm a parent, I was a parent to young children. I didn't tell everyone I was, I, there was this kind of thing like I went to law school and I worked at the citizens advice bureau and I kind of like had this little side job which was really exciting then and I'll never get that back now because I'm a porn star the fact that when you know that no one knows you and you're a secret like you're a secret hooker and I will never have that moment back because people know who I am and I was that's that's an amazing thing to do is to do a normal job when you've got this little secret um but yeah I've had nothing it changed my life um I was a single ma- single parent and I just, I, I, you know, I just liked sex as well. So it, I was kind of, I was always, you know, when I was studying, I'd have free time and I'd go and see a guy, but you know, I've always been mum and dad to my kids. So I had to manage my needs and wants around like fitting that in when they were like at school or something. And it just worked perfect because you can have a career in escorting during the day you can do a nine to five and make great money and spend more time with your kids so it was a no-brainer for me and I'd been married I'd had kids I was like I don't give a fuck what this does to a relationship I don't need a boyfriend I can have like 20 a week if I want and I'll get paid for it so it was just perfect marriage for me and I I was done caring what people thought I've got kids no one's paying my bills. I'm going to pay them myself. I'm going to have this great life. And I did. I, I had never gone out. I've never, I had never traveled outside of Europe. All of a sudden I'm being flown all over the place, getting paid well, living a life like I'm on a yacht in Miami, you know, I'm just having the time of my life. And I had gone from a broke single parent to this amazing life. And so I have nothing good stuff to say about that world but it's not for the faint-hearted there is a dark side if you haven't got your head screwed on properly so I would never glamorize it to be something that that it's not there are ugly sides to it and you know nothing's perfect so yeah so did you have any experiences when you were escorting that um were maybe a little bit dangerous, maybe a little bit scary. And how did you navigate that? So I've, I had got out of two pretty scary relationships. So I was pretty well equipped with sensing danger, how to be set sensible. I, I did cold calls for, for years as an escort. So I, like, you know, you get, the worst thing to happen is you get time wasted. So you're not making money. I, you had, I had, it was quite good because you had a platform called adult work, which I use. So you could see if they've got feedback and girls look after girls, you know, you'd have code words of whether they're good or not. And you'd leave bad feedback if they weren't great. So it was, it was a very simple system to keep yourself safe. Um, as your name got bigger, you don't ever do the phone calls. So when I wasn't a name, I would always answer my phone and like you learn to like double book just in case, you know, and it was a real hustle. So really, I loved the growing part of it is amazing. It teaches you so much. It teaches you how to manage your diary, how to manage your finances, how to, you know, how to run your life and to do all this stuff. So I learned so much from the ground up in the sense of being a, a decent escort. And um, I, 
I did not have any dangerous situations. I mean, the the da- most dangerous situation I got in is b- from causing myself, you know, when you party too hard or, or, you know, like just some of the crazy things that we've done at these things, but they're all, you know, I'm here today. I'm still alive and um, they're all part of the story, aren't they? So yeah, nothing. Yeah. Um, I didn't have any, any scary things happen. And I think most of my clients would probably have been more scared of me than me of them. <laughs> I, I did. You I was know, very lucky with my clients. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned adult work, which you said was a website where other escorts could go on and kind of yeah. talk about uh, various clients, warn other girls. We had something very similar here called Backpage, which was shut down by the sesta Foster bill, which has been really damaging to the adult industry. Um, wow. so I, we've talked about the SESTA possible many, many times on this podcast. Um, if you guys want to go back and kind of check out some of my earlier episodes and learn more about it, you can see how pages, websites like Backpage were very beneficial for escorts. Uh, just like you said, adult work was for you where they could really kind of look after each other. Um, cause it is very much a community. Uh, what, what were most of your clients like, like, did they all fit into one kind of specific type or were they all different types? Did you have favorites? Um, tell us a little bit more about the, the people that you worked for, worked with. So, um, I remember almost each and every one of them and there are thousands. Um, and I, you know, I think people in their head, they're like, oh, they must just all be desperate men, you know, not very attractive, blah, blah, blah. You couldn't be far from the truth. Like it was such a variety. Um, married is obviously very common. Um, but yeah, I, I found that I was being, I was having time. I was spending time with men and women, um, and couples uh, that I might not have, been attracted to in the outside world but in that moment in time that I'm spending with them I'm finding out I'm having a great time and yes I did develop favorites um I still have favorites um and I've I I have I have some clients I've just had for years I, I I mean I've been doing it for over 15 years and I I really feel very confident in that field as well that like I do a great service, you know, everything it's from everything, the way you, you know, the way you present yourself, the, what you bring to the, what you bring. And if you're doing an in-call that it's a beautiful experience, but also everything that they have, like you're fulfilling their complete fantasy, like whatever they want, you are going to do that in that moment in time. And I value some people, you know, I'm not cheap. My, my rate has gone up and up and up and up over the years. And each time, like, you need to fulfill that you're like my value is like they're like pay it you know and I want to make sure that I never ever take that for granted I want that experience to be exactly how they either see me on the screen or whatever they want and that's kind of been something that I'm good at you know and I I know I'm good at because I love it so yeah, I, they've all been great from, you know, I don't see young guys anymore because I just can't do that. Like, I remember, you know, like, I remember like an 18 year old and it was just like, I just don't think I can do. Yeah. It's like, I, even 29 is kind of really young to me. Um, I much prefer older guys much for older guys it was just like yeah I mean I work with Geordie Geordie um from Brazzers and oh yeah it, you, you know like I love Geordie because when you're actually in person um he, you know he he's just not remotely young at all but that's like we are selling a fantasy and and that's it but I'm happy to do that, but I'm very honest about it. I'm not into that at all. Like I really like old guys, you know, or guys my age. So that was something that I was just like, and I get a lot of younger guys emailing me because of those films I've done. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. the last thing I want, 
I, they remind me of little puppies. Sorry, guys, you know, but I'm going to be honest here. <laughs> like little excited puppies, like, uh, 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 like, no, don't, don't do that. Like, it's like too much. Sorry, I'm not doing this. So I just, that's like my, on my no list as a, as an escort, I want to have a, I want to have a good experience too. And it's for me as well. Um, so I just don't, I just don't like younger guys. Well, you know, some are okay. I have some on my only fans, which I'm like, yeah, you'll pass. I'm very like, <laughs> I'm very fussy now. <laughs> my older oh. age. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.